Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. I want to share my thoughts on six core CPUs. We recently made a video on our main channel, Why Ryzen 5 Sucks. And that, shall we say, got a lot of attention and a lot of comments from the community. It did. There was, shall we say, more than one dislike on that video. From people who didn't watch the video. They didn't because there was more nuance in the video than the title indicated. And the people who watched the video got the message. There was quite, yeah, there was quite a few people in the comments beneath it who, who were like, uh, okay, I see what tech's going at here. Whether I agree or disagree, there was a nuanced point in the video. Yes. So you gotta watch the videos. What would, what would happen if YouTube didn't let people leave comments unless they'd watched at least 25% of oh, the video? Oh, I think it's a brilliant idea. And also to liking and disliking. You, you can't dislike you can't if you haven't watched if it. If you haven't watched the video. I mean, that's just such a dumb idea that you can actually like and dislike a video without actually watching it. So with that being said, I wanna to talk today about how six core CPUs are awesome. And I can legitimately get behind a six core chip and say, holy smokes, deal, deal, deal. And then I want to talk about why Ryzen 5 sucks. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Ryzen 5 doesn't suck. Bad prices suck. suck. Let me show you guys something. This is a Ryzen 5 5600X. As I'm currently recording this, it is in stock at Newegg, although it's back ordered, but you can order it for $299. Okay. It's 2021 and it's six cores, 12 threads. It's very fast six cores. It's an amazing chip. It's great, but that price is garbage. If this chip were $200 instead of $300, my entire speech would change. Let me help you out here. This is an i7-10700 six core, 12 thread chip at four gigahertz. It is roughly an i7-8700 from 2017, but is not overclockable. But it's also $169, and it's also back-ordered. It's welcome to 2021, everything's back-ordered. So here's why this is here. If you're going six cores in 2021, you're doing it because you're on a budget. Every dollar matters. I get it, I understand it. Some people are on a budget. You don't have two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 to build a computer. You just don't, and you're not going to an appreciable period of time. You wanna play some games, you wanna replace your old FX8300 computer, you wanna replace your old i5-2500, you are ready to get rid of that, but you look at these eight, 12, and 16 core chips, and you look at you know these fancy i9s and go, dude, normal people can't afford this crap. What's wrong with you, tech? I understand. The Ryzen 5, 5600X is faster than the i5-10400, but not by that much. The only people who would truly, truly notice, and I, I have both chips, I have benchmarked both chips, I've made videos on those chips. The only people who are really, really going to notice are 300 frame per second competitive esports gamers who play at 1080p low with everything turned down on 300 hertz monitors who are, you know, who have 1,000 uh, hertz refresh rate keyboards and mice and want to be in the Rainbow Six Siege League. Great, good for you. I would hope you could afford better than a five chip whether it's from Intel or AMD, you should at least be on a Ryzen 7 5800X and have a full CCX complex, but whatever. For everyone else, the real world difference between an i5-10400 and a Ryzen 5 5600X is minor. That extra money is much better put into your graphics card. Because remember, if you're going a five chip, Everything in your system is a compromise. RAM is a compromise. Storage is a compromise. Graphics cards a compromise. You're doing this because you don't have $3,000 to buy an amazing computer. Right now, $3,000 will get you a Ryzen 9 5900X, a 12 core, 24 thread Zen 3 CPU. It will get you a very nice premium X570 gigabyte Aorus motherboard. I've done a video and talked about that particular machine. 
It'll get you 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte NVMe storage, an EVGA RTX 3084 The Win graphics card, 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply, uh, mesh RGB tempered glass ring light case, and a uh, 240 millimeter uh, liquid cooler. So if you have three grand, you aren't freaking compromising. If you don't have three grand, you're not buying that. I get it. And you don't have two grand because if you had two grand, you could get one of the eight core machines that has the 3070 in it. So you have less than that. So you have a thousand bucks, you have $1,200. Well, so your graphics card is probably a used one or a 10 or 20 series. Your storage is probably a smaller SSD with some hard drives. Your RAM is probably 16 gigs. And the price difference between the i5-10400 and the Ryzen 5 5600X is much better spent in all those other places. The i5-10400 comes with a cooler. It's not a great cooler, but it does come with one. The 5600X, well, no, the 5600X comes with a stealth cooler. The 5800X does not. That's how little I think about the Ryzen 5 5600X. It's the price that bothers me. If you rewind on our, ch on our channel a couple of years ago, when the Ryzen 5 3600 was new in 2019, we promoted the ever-loving snot out of it. Because at the time, Intel's i5 was six cores, six threads, and it was stupid. Now it's 12 threads and it's not as stupid. So the 8400 and the 9400 were dumb because they did not have hyper-threading. And the Ryzen 5 3600, welcome back, my love. Thank you was six cores, 12 threads, and about a year ago, in the summer of 2020, we did several live streams talking about the Ryzen 5 3600, dropped as low as 145. We promoted the snot out of it. That was an amazing deal. And if you bought one, you got a deal, enjoy your computer. So when I make videos titled Ryzen 5 Sucks, I am not referring to people who buy a $145 Ryzen 5 3600 a year ago because they were on a budget. I'm referring to people who buy a $300 Ryzen 5 3600X to put a 3080 or 3090 on and think six cores is all they need. They're out of their mind. That's stupid. But today in 2021, the Ryzen 5s are too expensive and this is the deal because this can be installed on that motherboard, which is a really nice board, which will run all day long, and it will let you upgrade. That has enough power delivery that if you wanted to upgrade to an i7 or an i9 in the future, you could. Maybe not with epic overclocking, but they don't have overclocking anyway. But if you wanted to upgrade when the chips are cheaper in the future. Exactly. And it's got fixed IO shield, it's got two M.2 slots, it's got four RAM slots, it's, it's got decent power delivery. Think of it this way. $150 plus $170 is $320. Yep. The 5600X is almost is $300 all by itself. Just by itself. You almost get board, chip, and cooler for the price of just the chip. Yep. That money should go into your other parts. If you can afford to make your other parts great, then you shouldn't be buying a 5 chip. And so the last thing I want to say is if you take Cyberpunk, Legion, Medium, and all the other, and Valhalla and the other new games, and you throw them in the trash bin, and you play Fortnite, League of Legends, uh, CSGO, Division 2, six cores is fine. If you play World of Warships, World of Tanks, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, six cores is fine. And i5-10400 will play all those games great. And I can completely and 100% endorse and get on board a $170 six core chip on a $150 Asus Tough motherboard, stock cooler, or maybe you get yourself a $20 deep cool Gamex 400, which is basically a Hyper 212 Evo. I'm okay with that as well. It's cooler, it's nicer, it makes less noise. I, I, I can look at that and I can go, what a deal. And of course then the graphics card is a problem because then Although the i5-10400 does have integrated graphics, at least, whereas the Ryzen 5, everything does not. That's true. If you, if you could actually find like an RTX 3060 for anything close to MSRP, or a, a, a 1050, uh, a, well, 
was going to say a, a GTX 1660 Super would be a perfect combination for that, but they're so expensive at the moment, it's ridiculous. See, but I get excited about that because I get the value for the money. The frames and the enjoyment and the modern computer experience for the money paid is very high. Correct. And when we make videos titled Ryzen 5 Sucks, I think people get the idea that I'm just a core snob and it's like, well, if you don't have a nine in your chip, well, then you're just crap pleb and should go to a console. That's not true. If people had watched the Ryzen 5 Sucks video, do you know what they actually would have heard? What? It's difficult to go down once you've gone up. Ryzen 5 for a lot of people and i5 are great until you've used a 9. See, the thing is, she had a Ryzen 5 3600X at home. I did. And a Ryzen 9 3900X at the office. I did. And she's seen my i9 at home. And once you've seen the better chips, especially side by side, because my i9 at home, we'll be playing World of Warships together and launching the game, launching a level, we'll division up, we'll go into it. And I'm into the game noticeably quicker than she is. And the results screen for me comes up noticeably quicker. And everything, updating and everything is just faster. And she looks over at my computer and she looks at hers. And it's the difference is like, whoa, there it is. But if you've never seen it, it's easy to go, it's fine. But then you use it and go, oh, I didn't oh. know what I was missing. Oh. Oh, wow. And so... There's nuance. It's the user experience that sucks on the Ryzen 5. <laughs> but here's the funny thing. Yeah. If I gave you the i5-10400, you'd feel exactly the same way. Probably. But, but here's the kicker. We are blessed that we can afford to get you an i9. True. If we could not afford an i9, we could both have i5-10400s at home, and we would have plenty of fun. We would. It's fine. You don't need the premium stuff. But if you can afford it, it is legitimately cool. Yes. Does that sort of answer that? I think so. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.